Welcome back to part two video on how to deploy Azure Data Platform with Azure DevOps Pipeline. Today is about creating DevOps service connection, which is essentially a service principle in Azure Portal that you will use to deploy various things in Azure DevOps Pipeline. Some of the prerequisites, if you want to follow along the end-to-end -end deployment, please check out my part one video for all the prerequisites. And we will create a new service principle in Azure Portal. Thirdly, we will create a new DevOps service connection. And lastly, we will grant a relevant RPEC role in Azure Portal for that service principle, which is a contributor role. Okay, now let's get to the actual demo. Here we are in my Microsoft Azure Portal. Where you want to go first is the Azure Active Directory, or you can find it here on the left. Click that one. And where you want to go is Apps Registration here on the left. And you want to create a new registration. Okay, and maybe I'll just call it DevOps uh, Pipeline. Speed DevOps Pipeline, keep that within this directory only and click register and then you'll take to the details of this service principle and you want to go and click certificates and secrets where you want to keep is this information here application client id and the secrets which you, you are going to create in a sec you want to click new client secrets keep that as default six months expiration and then you want to keep the value here as well okay and when you have these values now let's go to the azure devops forgot to mention that before we actually go to uh, create a new service connection in devops we need to grant that service principle a contributor role in the azure subscription itself so if you go to your portal and your relevant subscription go to iam here and you want to assign Go to role assignments and then you want to assign uh, this role which is uh, in the grand contributor the one that you want to give is the b there you go that's that select that one and you want to review and assign once it's there and you can just refresh uh, and that should be there now great after you've signed contribute the role on your service principle now we go to azure devops create a new project if you haven't got one i have got one here uh, it's quite blank at the moment and inside i go to project settings here on the bottom left go to the service connections under pipelines and create service connection pick the fourth one here is your resource manager and i'm going to pick manual uh, you can pick automatic which will let you to search your subscriptions but i'm just going to pick manual because i think it's easier to demo Click next, and we need to find a bunch of details here subscription, subscription ID, name, service principal ID, the secret that we created earlier, and the tenant ID. Let's go back, and this is my subscription ID and name is BSE, so I'm just going to copy that one. BSE, service principal ID can be found in your Active Directory registrations and within here this is actually the id that you're after so I'll drop that there and you want to find the the key or the secrets which is found under that and you can go to certificates and secrets there you go if you haven't kept that it will now be uh, will be hidden and i just happened to create to cap that separately earlier so I'm just going to copy and paste that now in here. Tenant ID can be found in my 
of the of the Azure Active Directory under Azure Active Directory. So it's standard ID. And within here, I'm just gonna drop that and verify. There you go, successful. I'm just gonna keep uh, the names consistent with the service pipeline. I want to make sure that I can uh, use this to my pipelines that I'm going to use later. So click grant access permission to all pipeline. Verify and save. There you go. Now I have a, a new Azure uh, DevOps service connection, which is later going to be used for uh, various deployments in Azure DevOps pipeline. That's it for the part two video to create a new DevOps service connection using service principle in Azure. And now we're gonna go to part three where we're gonna deploy some Azure infrastructure with ARM template. See you there.